Oh, so well, I, I, I think I should have a good life good like this. I'll get these. Okay. You're going to have to show me. Do you want me to carry the boat? I don't know how to do that. No, I'll carry it. Well, I'll show you how we flip it up the easiest way. How do you... That thing looks pretty cumbersome. I guess there's an art to it, though. Oh, it's actually it's pretty easy. Pads and yokes and everything, and these canoes are very nice to carry. What you do is you grab onto your first pad, pick it up, pull up your second pad, and just roll it over. Just roll it over your shoulders. Oh, that's good. And you just keep your arms in front of you and go through this. Okay. So I'll follow you. All right, let's you, go. You keep the bears at bay. <laughs> okay, I'll get the bears away. I understand they're like German shepherds. If you can <laughs> show them who's boss, they'll leave you alone. Well, I'll yell at them a little bit, that's all. Mark, I noticed a lot of signs of wildlife. Deer tracks, and I thought I saw a moose track, but I, I saw like a big dog track, too. Well, those are timber wolves. Timber wolves? Yeah, they're, pr they're pretty predominant throughout this area. Well, now, those timber wolves, they, they really uh, play havoc with the deer population, I'll bet. Oh, they, they do their job. Uh, it all runs in one big cycle. Well, here's the lake. There it is. Yeah, we're almost here. Hey, boy, that's a neat looking lake. Oh, it's about, uh, it's like a couple miles long. Yeah, it's about two miles long. It's, it's a pretty nice little lake, but it stretches, up, stretches off into all kind of different directions. That's a pretty looking log over there, son. Let's see if I can get you positioned right here. First cast of the day. Oh, I love the fly rod fish. Should be one in there. He should be there. Boy, it's tough in that wind, Mark. <laughs> oh, got my first fly rod bass of the day. Right. Okay, son. <laughs> I tell you what. He didn't jump much, Mark. He's feisty, though. He's pretty feisty. Got, this is a great big nine-foot rod, so I really got a good bend in him. Come on, Bass. Well, he's nice. Took that old yellow pocket bug. Made of this little short cast, Mark. I saw what is apparently a spawning bed. We'll go over and look at it in just a second, and I want to see if it is. If it's a spawning bed, I want to release the fish, but it's just right over here by this log. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll ease over there in a second if it's a spawning fish, which I th suspect it is. I think I'll just release it so he will continue to spawn. Oh, son. <laughs> the little pound and a half bass. Nice little fish. Hit that. Now, I want to slip. Yeah, there's the spawn bed, Mark. Let's just ease forward. Okay. I think we can see it. It's right in front of this tree. Yeah, I see it. It's a real bright spot in the bottom. Yeah. I'm going to let this fish go, and I'll let him go right back to it. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Go right back to your bed, boy. Super little spot. They're really protective. All right, beds when you get a, something like a popping bug near them. I just made a small cast. It was, I'm not a very good caster. I'm not like Dave Whitlock or something good like that. But uh, with the way the wind's blowing, I've got to kind of make an over-the-shoulder cast. Not like that. That's the kind of cast I made. I let it sit there. Oh, here's another bed, I think. Right. There. Boy, those loons are making a lot of noise, Mark. Yeah, they're really pretty solid, aren't they? There he is. Ah, All right, right, there we go. Son. Come on, smallmouth. Hey, that's a good one there. That's, that's a nice, that's a nice smallmouth. Oh, there he is. Son. <laughs> yeah. That's a better fish. That's, that's a couple pounds. That's a couple pounds. You know, you're a big old granddad, though. Yeah. Old granddad I know. I, I want to get about a four pounder. <laughs> that's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's a nice little small one. What's that? Two and a half pounds. Pretty close, yeah. Pretty close. Yeah, that was perfect. Well, that was a nice fish, too. Yeah. Mark, what do you think about going down over there? All right, that looks like a good point. Do you, do you come back in this lake very often? Oh, quite a bit. Quite a bit. Not too many people know about a lot of these quite a lakes. I'll tell you what, according to that map, there must be 
a couple hundred lakes right here in this area. Are they all this good? Most of them, most of them, most of the aquatic lakes are very good, very good. Hey, Mark, I see, I see something in the brush there. What is that? It's a nest of some sort. It's, do you think that's a loon nest? Could be. It's a nest of this type of stuff. Well, they're on a little shoal right here in the middle. Boy, those eggs are just gigantic. They're bigger than a goose egg. Yes, they are. Huh. Well, look, there's a loon right now. Boy, she doesn't like us being here, I'll tell you that. Well, we leave them alone. You know what, Mark, one of my ambitions in fly rod fishing is to catch a six-pound smallmouth from this fly rod. Oh, that would be a good, really good bass to catch. And I think this lake has the opportunity to catch it. I hope, I hope you can. Because they're sure in here. Watch this, watch this, watch me. Here he comes. Oh, oh there you go. Good fish. Big one, big, big, big smallmouth. Big smallmouth. Oh, nice. ah, really nice. That's a big large mouth. That's a real nice big large man. Boy, I'll tell you what, that's a, that's a mean fish there, son. That was really something. He's still a good fight, isn't he? I reckon he's, he's, he's several pounds. And on a little six pound test fly rod, that's not, not a bad deal. And well, that's what fly rod fishing's all about. That is a fine, fine largemouth bass. And I really didn't expect to catch largemouth bass in here. And nevertheless, that's a good one. Yeah, you know, a fish like that, Mark, being up here in this cold weather, in cold water, that could be, you know, six or seven years old. Mm -hmm. He's not easy. He's, he's not a young fish. They don't have a lot of... I'm going to release him. Five month growing season. Come on, boy. He'll be all right. There he goes. Okay, I tell you, this is red hot fishing, son. The Critico Special let's show the audience what, uh, what kind of popping bugs I'm using today. I got really a nice selection of really fine bugs uh, tied up by such experts as Dave Whitlock, the famous uh, artist and, and bug tire. In fact, here's some of Whitlock's collections. He ties a hair bug that's really a superior bug. I'm not using this one today. These are almost collector's items, but these are made out of deer hair, and these are really super. In fact, you notice they have little eyes. Whitlock uh, puts a little, little round eyes that, that, that actually uh, shake and wiggle. He makes a frog colored one, which is my favorite, and also a little brown one. Again, out of brown deer hair. These aren't painted in any fashion. They're just, I guess that's rooster, rooster feathers or something. Also, what Whitlock does that's really interesting in, in a bug tie is he puts a little loop of monofilament over the hook, and that's a one-off hook. If you notice, there's a little loop of monofilament. That, that makes it fairly needless. I have a bigger selection of bugs here. These are just all different types, like the famous Pex popper. Now, that's a pecking ball popper out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and it's a you know, one odd hook. And that's really my favorite. A pearl white head with a yellow tail, a little black tail, that's probably my favorite. And here's another one just like it. You can make these weedless pretty easily. Like here, I took a Pex popper, and I made it weedless by putting a little piece of wire down through the a little piece of stainless steel wire like you'd use for a uh, pike. Hmm. That, that makes it real loose. Oh, that loon, he, one of loons here popping bugs. Uh, here's some more of uh, Whitlock's designs. He, he makes a, uh, like there's some peacock feather on the back end of that black one. That's a pretty colored one. And today's popper is a little bit different. Let me just show you that real quick. It's a, it's a bug that's a, uh, commercially available. I think this possibly is a Betts popper, but it's got the little rubber feet to it. And, and of course, it really spreads out good. It's got a concave head, much like the uh, Pex popper. It's got a bumblebee design. And this, this again, pops real good. In fact, I'm going to pop it right in front of the boat. And if you watch it now when I pull it, it really does pop well. Now, for today's fishing, we're releasing all our fish. We don't believe in catching and, and keeping spawning smallmouth. That's just not good conservation. And it's uh, something I advocate to catch and release. In fact, I very seldom ever keep fish. But it's sure a lot of fun catching them. Well, Mark, what do you think? I'll catch another one. Give it a try. Give it a try. I've been letting that bug sit there about three or four seconds, Mark. And I've just been 
you know, working it kind of slow. Oh, I got one down son. Oh, 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 big old small mouth. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, boy, I'll tell you what. Hey, look at the size of him. I'm telling you what, that's a hog there. That's oh, a nice fish. That's a nice fish. He's going underneath the boat. Here he comes. Come on, boy. Boy, he's strong, let me tell you. Ooh, big small mouth. That's the size of him. Look at the size of him. He is one big, big small mouth. <laughs> Come on, boy. <laughs> That's what it's all about. I wish they had these things down in Okeechobee, Florida, Mark. <laughs> They'd pull the scales off a large man. <laughs> if you tie yeah, the two together. They got lots of power. Yeah, they're great. great. Come on, boy. That's a big old swung out there. Well, I guarantee you what. He got that puffin boat just right. <laughs> There's a three pounder. Mark, that's beautiful fish. That's a pretty, pretty, pretty small now. He stuck that little pop of boat up just right. We're getting close to your ambition. I know, that's really a fine fish. I'm gonna let him go. There he goes. That little pop of bug, I don't know, it looks like a bumblebee, whatever that. I guess they eat bumblebees up here. Yeah, that's not one of the major ones. <laughs> It sure it seems to like that popper. Did you notice how the last couple fish have just barely hit that thing? They just suck it up. They haven't hit it very hard. Hmm. And, uh, you know, they're not cracking it hard. They're just, they're just merely uh, sucking it down. It must be just, oh, there's one. Ooh, he's in that bush. Boy, he's, he's in the shoreline. Whoa! Come here, come here, small mouth. Hey, man, I'm talking about. Woo! Hey, that's a good one, son. That's a nice one. Well, I'll tell you what, that's a good small mouth. That's a good small mouth. <laughs> oh, come on, boy. <laughs> oh, boy, I'll tell you what, he went trucking up that trail. I like a, like a little tiger, little tiger. Little tiger. Trojan. <laughs> I love it. I'll tell you what, these old brown bass are, are a different type of deal. Come on, boy. What do you think, Mark? That's a what do you think? That's is that in a program? I'll tell you what, that is. You know, that fish has been caught before. Look at that. Somebody has caught and released that fish, and now I've enjoyed catching them a second time because someone had the uh, wisdom to, to yeah, catch and release this, this fish. That's really sad. That's really that's right because it's fine right now. Well, I'm going to be considerate of them, too, and I'm going to catch and release them again. And I'm just going to let them go right now. It's hard to bleed a little bit. I think you'll be all right. There he goes. Swim down there and be caught again another day. You notice that today, Mark, I, when we came in, I didn't have this hat on, but here's my fly hat special. Because I'm not a very good catcher. Sometimes a bug comes in and gets me, so when I really get windy, I'll put the thing down where I won't get my ears. I normally keep it up, and I have Polaroid sunglasses, not only to see the fish, but for eye protection as well, because when you're using a popping bug, you really got to consider, you know, protecting your eyes. Okay, I'm ready. So a good hat and a good pair of sunglasses is a prerequisite for fly rod fishing. Okay, hold it right here. Back this up a little bit. Ooh, got him. Oh, I got a big one now. Son, I got a monster. What a beauty. What a Son, beauty. I got a monster. Oh, I'm talking about a big, small mouth. That's a beauty. Ah, look at that one. I'm telling you what. Woo! Oh. Baby, you're talking about a trophy. That what is you nice fish. That is a nice small mouth. What are you mouth. talking about? Look at that thing go. Come on, small mouth. Man, he might go, 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 go by four pounds. He just do that. I'd say that. Ooh, he's a giant small mouth. He's a beauty. He's a huge, huge fish. I don't know how many more fish we're going to catch here, but this has been all right. What a day. Get out of that limb. Oh, I'm thinking he's all in these, in these. If, if he dives down deep, he's had it. He's only six pound line. I got to hold him up. I got to hold him out of here. Oh, son. Look at the size of him. I'm talking 
about it. Throw it small now. Get out of those net. That is a beautiful fish. That is a beautiful fish. Paddle around this way. We're going to get around the... That's a beauty. All right. Let me hand land him and be real careful because he is one big shot. That is a nice fish. Really nice fish. Oh, baby. Come here. <laughs> All right. That's a close for a day. Right. I'm guaranteeing you what, Mark. I don't care if I catch another fish. But coming up here to Lock LaCroix, coming back here to Zelf's camp and portaging into some of these smaller lakes. That's a fitting way to catch largemouth bass and smallmouth bass as well. What a trophy. Yeah, so, Mark, I want to thank you for the day's fishing. It's really been a quite a day. So, the next time you want to catch some big smallmouth bass, come up to Lock LaCroix in southern Canada. Try your luck at these big hummers like this, and you'll really have the time of your life. For almost 9,000 years, beginning with the Stone Age people, who were probably the aboriginal ancestors of the Ojibwa and Cree Indians, Quidditch has felt the presence of human beings in its woods. Unfortunately, Quidditch cannot support vast numbers of visitors without showing signs of this intense use. So please, treat this as well as all our national parks with the respect they deserve and leave them as you found them. We'll see you next week. Again to our show. Come with us today to Farmer's Great Bear Lake Lodge in Canada's Northwest Territories. Here, Greg Ward, Jeffrey Ward, and I found some of the most fabulous fishing in the world. With part of the lake extending north of the Arctic Circle, accessible only by air, you can bet the fishing will remain fantastic for the foreseeable future. Let's go now to Great Bear Lake for some excellent trout fishing. Today we're fishing from Plumber's Great Bear Lake Lodge in Canada's Northwest Territories. Great Bear is the fourth largest freshwater lake and just loaded with lake trout. Plumber's Great Bear Lake Camp is located on a small island just off the mainland. Meet rows of plain white cabins line the shoreline. Through a large picture window in the lodge, we see the crystal clear water of the lake. We talk with other fishermen about the most productive lures. When you arrive at Great Bear Lake Camp, a delicious hot meal is served. Wayne Gretzky, world-renowned hockey player, was present. We'll be back and visit with Wayne in just a moment. The uh, Edmonton Oilers world champion hockey team, the Stanley Cup champions, and anyone who is a hockey fan knows that Wayne Gretzky is probably the greatest hockey player that ever put on a pair of skates. Wayne, it's a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you very much, my pleasure. Whoops. I see you've uh, taken up another sport. <laughs> well, uh, Mr. Pogginger and uh, our team owner, Mr. Saylor, coach and general manager, convinced me to try my hand at fishing. Um, not a great fisherman. It's the first time I, in my life that I've been on anything like this, and I've had a great time. Uh, the first time then you've been up here at, at Great Bear Lake? Yeah, I can live in Canada, and uh, first time ever to come up this far north. Uh, living in Edmonton, we're not, home. we're not that far away. We're only two hours by airplane, but uh, first time here. I understand you were up at Tree River. Well, that is a completely uh, different place than, than people can imagine, and uh, to be out there was something new for me. And, Awfully cold, but uh, I caught myself a nice 17 pound uh, Arctic char, and uh, I'm gonna make a trophy out of it. 17 pound, that's a pretty nice Arctic char. Did yeah. you get one of the males to highly come? Yeah, I, it was uh, a tight hauling experience I was fishing. When I snagged onto it, I told one of the guys, I said, Well, don't worry about it. I hooked onto a board because the <laughs> stuff came out, of course, it's all red. <laughs> and that's how I said about fishing. Uh, uh, you gonna have it mounted? Yeah, I'm going to have him mounted. My, my dad's a real outdoorsman. I'm going to have him mounted and, and give it to him. Well, good. Uh, what did you catch him on? We caught him on uh, a red and white. I guess they call it lure, and that's all I know. Spooner. Yeah. You know, the spooner jig. Yeah, with the spoon. The spoon. Uh, mm -hmm. Just cast across the current and reel it in? Yeah, we were casting across, and uh, I just reeled it in. One of the fellas caught a 26-pounder. and. Oh, that's it. Yeah, he had a heck of a fight. 40 minutes to bring it in. I, oh, that's I said 17 pounder, and I hardly can bring it in. I don't know what I'd do with a 30 pounder. <laughs> You're getting ready now to go out here on the Great Bear Lake. Yeah, we're gonna, they're going to take us uh, trout fishing and see if I can catch myself a nice trout. I said that uh, 
I wanted to uh, catch the biggest trout here, so we're on our way in early start. Well, I'll tell you what, if you get the biggest trout out of Great Bear Lake that there is in there, you're going to get a <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna, <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, good. They've caught them out here, I guess, around 60 pounds, so... Oh, um, gosh, 60 pounds. I'll be happy if I get a nice 25 pounds. Well, that'll stretch your line out real yeah. good. Yeah, you know, I can imagine it well. well. I hope I do. Well, Wayne, it's certainly been a pleasure having you on the show with us, and uh, we hope that you do real well on your trip tonight to pick up those big trout. Thank you very much, Richard. Thank you. Pleasure. I 
They're not twins, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Not right. landing. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna let mine go. Okay, I'll get the hell out of mine. There. Why? Nice today. Oh, beautiful day. Couldn't ask for any nicer weather. Mm -hmm. He did. Oh, you can't throw in there. I'd get distracted. I had about five or six of them on that. I don't think I've ever seen a place where the fish were, where there were more lakes out than concentrated in one area than right here. No, I don't either. Oh, this, this beats anything I've ever seen. Let's see if I can get him in there. Yes, sir, this is the best that I think I have ever seen anywhere. I feel his teeth great on that line, too. Yeah. Yes, sir. I gotta get him in if I can. There he is. I got him tangled there, guys. I'm gonna pump him a little. I think he's okay anyhow, but pump. He doesn't need any pumping. Took off. Now, let's see if I get my line. Why don't we move out a little ways? Uh, okay. Seems like when we first move out, you catch maybe catch a little larger one and get out there for a little bit deeper. Yeah. We might run into some 20 pounders. Yeah, I'd like to catch one. 30, 20, 30, yeah. How about that Wayne Gretzky? You know, I'll tell you what, if he's just now taking that fish and if he puts as many fish in the nets as he does pucks, he'll, he'll be a good one. You know he, he sure will. I, I really like him. He's modest, unassuming, and mm -hmm. of course he's the greatest hockey player in the world. Yeah. And uh, if he, this, this fishing is really relaxing to him. He gets up there and the, he lives not too far from Great Bear Lake. No, Edmund. He just never had uh, taken up the sport of fishing until just recently. A fly-in trip to Plumber's Great Bear Lake Lodge is one of the finest fishing trips you ever experience. Fine food, excellent accommodations, big safe boat and guide, and friendly hosts make this a fishing trip of a lifetime. We'll be back with more action in just a couple of minutes. Lunch. While the guide prepares the food, we lay back and daydream about the big one that got away. Yeah. 
come back up here and fish. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna let him go. Jeff, got one over there. That makes a triple. That's two, three times. We've done that. We had him on. Uh, look over there. He had him on. If we land all three of these, that'll be 58. 58? 58. 58. Yeah, mine's a Oh, yours come on, huh? Yeah. Oh, well, I'll get you another one real quick. Yeah, you can probably have him in and off before I... Another in and off before I get mine in. That's one of those gray ones. Yeah, it is. Heavy. Short and heavy one. They are a little fatter. Yeah. Yeah, they're a little better shape. Oh, that thing is heavy for his length. Yeah. Man, oh man, he said. Let's see where we are. Uh, the location is, seems to be a kind of a hot spot here. Yeah. Yours is brown on Yeah. Yours. I, yeah. I just now saw him. Yeah, he's about like that. Most of them are, once in a while, you get one of those gray ones. Now that slave, it's the other way around, you know? What? Yeah. Usually most of them are. Yeah, you, you don't get too many brown ones. Uh -uh. How many doubles today have we had? It's five or six right here, isn't it? Whoa, come here, fish. Boy, they are powerful. Oh, yeah. yeah, I don't think I can bite that hard in that cold water. Uh, well, mine's going to chomp my line into there. I ain't careful. This one just won't come up. Yeah, 
Yeah. 